Hey guys, Ariel over here on a, I'm barely, half asleep barely, on a um, kind of snowy day. The sun popped in out a few times, but it snowed for most of the day. And it has been cold. It was about minus two last night. Yes, this is the beginning of March. Yes, the snowbanks out there are still way over my head. And yes, it's below zero again. So winter's not over here anytime soon. And I go through gloves, as you may imagine, living in a cold place. And I usually um, like wear out a pair every year. And somehow I hadn't worn mine a whole lot last year, maybe because it wasn't as snowy as a lot of winters. And so I kept using them into this year. It's not normal at this time of year that I am getting new gloves, but I've totally worn holes through a few. And so I got two new pairs at once because I like to keep one in my van and one in my house. That way I just, I know if I'm ever stranded somewhere or something, I'm gonna have a pair with me. These have been for quite a few years now of experience living in a cold and snowy place. These have been my favorite glove for actually working in. Um, their Kinko brand. I don't have any affiliation with Kinko. Um, I'll link to them down below. I wear a small and they're still plenty big on me, but I like these. They're just practical. I can work as well as you can work in gloves anyway. Um, I, of course, prefer my hands free, but when it's below zero, sometimes you want gloves. Um, I like the little, they make a, a wide neck on the, the cuff here. I like the closed one because then when I've got uh, jacket sleeves or whatever they come down over it and you're not prone to getting snow down in your gloves um, and right here where they say kinko I used to work with a group of guys where it would be like 20 people and everyone would have the exact same gloves varying sizes I was usually the only one with a small but everyone would have the exact same gloves so we would all take permanent markers and I don't have to do this anymore because I don't they longer work there, but we'd all write our names really big right across here, um, right over that Kinko name, um, so that you could tell whose gloves were who. Now these are almost new. I've worn them outside a few times. You can see a little wear and tear, or a little just wear there, because um, I kind of wanted to break in the leather just a bit before I did this. Now these are fa fairly warm, but they do get wet through, because leather will, um, you know, soak through. Hi, baby. You gotta move over. Okay, we'll move over. Stay out of the way. So, uh, to keep that from happening, this stuff is awesome. Again, I'm not affiliated with Snow Seal. It's just a product I've been using for years. It's called Snow Seal. It's mainly made out of beeswax. Um, I'm gonna actually lay these close to the stove here because the warmer, and you do wanna make sure your leather is dry when you're gonna do this. Um, and the warmer the better. Uh, if you don't have like a nice hot wood stove to put them beside, you can actually put them in like a dryer for a few minutes and warm them up or run a hair dryer on them. I've done that in the past. Um, I don't have one any longer, but uh, if you use a hair dryer, it'll really melt this stuff in here because this stuff is thick and sticky like a beeswax. Goopy like that, it doesn't look very attractive. This will darken the leather you're rubbing it into. So this is the color this is when I start. And I'm just going to massage this into all of the leather parts. And this is going to make this not 100% waterproof. I mean, you wouldn't wanna go like reaching under water puddles, but it makes them very waterproof. And I have, in the past, I've had leather boots, not the fur boots that I wear all the time now, but if you have actual plain leather, cause this would get guppy in the fur, um, you can rub this into that. And I, I re-waterproofed my same pair of leather boots for seven or eight winters, I think, before I wore them out. Um, and it works really well. It kind of makes the leather a little softer, which is nice. I, I, I end up getting a bit in this fabric portion, which doesn't really matter, but you don't have to uh, get any in there because it doesn't do a whole lot to waterproof that. It mostly works on the leather. So you can see now how much darker this one already is than its mate, and it's gonna get even a little darker as this snow seal soaks the whole way in. So I just kind of massage it in there, make your hands all nice and soft if they've been getting dry from the dry air, and I'm going to let these gloves sit here beside the wood stove to um, really get it to melt the whole way down into the leather, because that's what we are doing here. So I just wanted to show you guys what my project is here. I happen to be doing two pairs at once here because I wore everything out and hadn't got around to getting a new pair of 
gloves for most of the winter. But I just, I find this is really comfortable. It makes a pretty cheap pair of gloves. So I've noticed this year they've gone up a little in price. Now these are all like 20 bucks. For a lot of years they were like 12 or $14. And if you've ever been skiing, you know a lot of like ski gloves are 50, 60, 160, whatever. They're, they're crazy pricey. And I found these to be, I've even have skied with these. Um, as long as it's not too bitterly cold. There are some that are warmer. But if you're working, doing anything active where you're not likely to be getting that cold anyway, like snow shoveling, um, these have just been over the years my my favorite work gloves. Again, you can kind of see how that's turning it darker, definitely much more so than that one. And I don't mind that at all. I did the same thing with my boots. They were kind of a light brown, and then every time I re-snow seal them, they go to this really dark rich brown, which was actually a color I liked. Um, you don't want these to touch your stove or anything, but keep them in a nice warm spot. So anyway, that's just, um, that's how I've used pretty inexpensive gloves. So they usually last me, like I said, for a good year and winter here is two thirds of the year. And so that is, um, that, that I think is an acceptable lifespan for the amount of time I spend using a pair of gloves in those months. And they do stay dry much, much longer. If I'm working in really wet snow, which doesn't happen hardly ever here, um, you can still soak through these, but I can work outside for hours and hours in a snow sealed pair of Kinko gloves and they um, keep my hands warm and dry. So, just in case y'all weren't aware of that, I thought I would show you that. <clears throat> And I may do, I often do a second coat once these sit here for a few hours and, and really warm up by the stove. And uh, that first bit gets soaked in, I'll often do this again and, and let it sit there and be warm again to, to really saturate the leather with the sealer so that nothing goes through there. And you can do this more than once, like not just today, but you know, you could use them for a year and as it starts to wear out, you can do it again. I usually have the glove itself worn out by then, so I don't often do my gloves more than once. But as I said, with that pair of boots, I did. You know, I'd do it once a year, kind of at the start of winter every year. And I wore them for, I think, seven years before I finally, you know, wore through the, the leather on them. So, there we go, there's my my four mostly new gloves with their first coat. And right now you can still, you know, if my hands are already tacky from touching it, but you can feel it's a little bit waxy on the outside as it, this one's already doing it some, as it soaks in, it doesn't feel like that at all. The leather just feels nice and soft, but it doesn't feel like this beeswaxy texture like that. So like I said, I'll probably do another coat, but it, it's gonna look basically the same and then these will be nice gloves for me to use the rest of this year and might get me through most of next winter at this point. Hopefully that's a helpful tip for somebody who's got leather stuff and water and I know a lot of y'all are in places that get a lot wetter than me, not necessarily colder, but wetter and so this stuff is helpful. And this, I don't know if you can see that tub's a little less than half full. I've been using it for years. I think I'm on my second tub in 11, 12 years now. So it um, it's a little bit pricey to buy a tub, but you should be able to use it on a lot of things or for a lot of years and it doesn't really go bad ever. And then it makes your hands all nice and soft. You can rub some into Burley's toes. I don't know if he'll like that. You want some snow seal on your toes? No, you have plenty of you have plenty of feathery fur around your toes. You don't need help. Hopefully that gives you guys a cool idea that might help somebody. Hi folks, Ariel over here. Thanks for spending some of your valuable time watching these videos. Hopefully you found something beautiful, educational, interesting, peaceful, relaxing, or useful while you are here. If so, find more videos here, subscribe so you don't miss any updates, and if you like what you found here, feel free to like and share away so that others can benefit as well. You all have a wonderful day.